Hi everyone, welcome to the second tutorial of Coding with Confidence, the fun way to learn Salesforce Apex tutorial series. Congratulations, you have made it to the second tutorial. I understand that the first tutorial was a little theoretical with slides and everything, but hopefully it was the only tutorial of such sort in this series. Starting today, all the further tutorials in this series will be practical demonstrations that you can follow alongside as I code. Today's topic is variables and data types in Apex. Now, the first question that comes to our mind is, what is a variable? A variable is simply a named storage or memory location that contains a value. In Apex, all the variables have a data type and each variable is by default initialized to null. Null basically means that no value is assigned or provided to that variable. Therefore, what we learned, we learned that a variable is nothing but a named storage or memory location present in our computer or in this case in Salesforce server. For example, let's say I'm saying that I defined a variable with name X. So X is nothing but a memory location present in Salesforce server. And this memory location can store a value. Let's say we are saying that X is going to store a value as two. Therefore, we can say that X is a named storage location or memory location, which is storing a value as two. If you notice, I have added the word data type in inverted commas here. Now let's discuss what is a data type. A data type is a keyword associated with a variable. Or in other words, I can say each variable that you define will have a data type associated with it. It basically represents the type of data which that variable will store. There are 12 primitive data types in Salesforce. And these are as follows. Boolean, integer, decimal, double, long, date, date time, time, id, string, object, and blob. By primitive, I mean that these are the out of the box or fundamental data types available in Apex programming language. Let's talk about each one of them in detail. We can create some custom variables as well. We'll learn about them in future tutorials. For now, let's talk about these primitive data types in detail. I'll only cover the Boolean data type in this video and we will cover the rest of the data types in future videos. What is a Boolean data type? A variable of Boolean data type can store only one of these two values, true or false. Example of a variable having Boolean data type is as follows. Boolean is qualified and then a semicolon. Let's see what we have done here. In order to declare a variable, we follow the format, data type, then space, then we have the variable name, followed by a semicolon. For example, here you can see Boolean is the data type. Then we have a space here. Is qualified is the variable name. And then at the end, we have a semicolon. In this example, it signifies that this variable has a name is qualified and is of type Boolean. That means it can store only true or false. In Apex, we add a semicolon at the end of almost each line. For example, you can see we have a semicolon here as well, here as well, and here as well. Even in the previous tutorial, where we just had hello world or welcome to SFDC stop, we had a semicolon here as well. Semicolon basically means the end of current line of code. There are some scenarios as well where we don't add a semicolon. You will learn about it in the future tutorials. For now, let's understand this code and let's see what we have done. We have defined a variable named is qualified. And this variable is of type boolean. That means it can only store true and false. As you remember that each variable is by default initialized to null. So we can say that this variable is having a value as null. Or we can say this variable is not having any value, either true nor false. So we are saying we defined a variable and then we have a print statement. Because if you remember from the previous tutorial, this is how we print a statement on the debug. So the print statement is saying value of is qualified boolean variable is and then I have a plus and then the name of the variable which is nothing but is qualified. Let's run this code first and let's see what happens. So I'm going to select these two statements and then I'm going to open my command palette once again using command shift P or control shift P and I'm going to use this command execute anonymous apex with currently selected text. It will only run this code which we have selected. Let's execute this. What we have in the output? In the output, we are having 
value of is qualified boolean variable is and then it is showing me the value of this variable so this variable is not having any value currently which is why i am getting the value here as null if you notice what salesforce did it automatically replaced the variable name with the value of that variable so as the code is running if you write any kind of code as it runs the variable name is automatically replaced by the value of that variable now the question is how can we assign a value to this variable this is how we do it so what we have done here we are saying is qualified is my variable name it is going to have a value which is nothing but false here i am saying is qualified is equal to false you might have studied maths in maths we say equal to means equality which means that value on the left hand side and value on the right hand side are equal but in computer science or i can say in coding or programming equals means assignment this basically means that we are assigning the value false to a qualified variable so we are saying that is qualified variable will now have a value as false and again we have a semicolon at the end now let's execute this whole code i'm going to execute this command again sfdx execute anonymous apex with currently selected text and this time i have selected this whole text starting from line number 35 to line number 40 as this code is executed you can see that i have two statements printed because i have two statements here the first statement is saying value of is qualified boolean variable is null which is true and then we assigned a value false to this variable and then the second statement is saying value of is qualified boolean variable is is qualified so value of is qualified boolean variable is false if you notice here at this point the value of the variable is null because up till here we did not assign any value to our variable but then at this particular line we assigned a value false to our is qualified variable and now if i print the value i am getting false this means that our code is being executed line by line right it is being executed line by line in general this is how the code gets executed in a computer system that is line by line now let's see the third line which we have this time what we did we assigned a value true to our variable and then we are again printing it so we are saying value of is qualified boolean variable is and then the variable just in case you are wondering about this plus it is doing nothing it is just joining these two statements so this is nothing but a string right i mean it is a kind of a english text which we want to print and this is a variable so in order to join these two in a single line we are using plus i am going to execute the whole code again from start till the end so i selected the code from line 36 to 43 in my system that is this whole snippet and then i can open my command palette and i can again say execute anonymous apex with currently selected text if you see this time we have three statements which are these three in the first statement i am getting value of is qualified boolean variable is null this is true because initially there was no value assigned to my variable so it is coming as null then i am getting value of is qualified boolean variable is false this is also fine because here i assigned a value as false to my boolean variable so it is coming as false here and then i am getting value of is qualified boolean variable is true this is also fine because here i assigned a value true to my boolean variable is qualified and therefore the value is coming as true so this is how you can declare a variable in apex and this is how you can assign value to it 